We're going to explain how to deactivate Cisco Umbrella. Cisco Umbrella is a cloud-delivered security service, and deactivating it depends on how it's implemented in your environment, whether it's managed by your employer or if you've personally subscribed to a plan. 1. If your employer manages Cisco Umbrella, you can't directly deactivate it yourself. Your access is controlled by your organization's IT department. If you need to stop using Umbrella, you'll need to contact your IT help desk or network administrator. Explain that you require Umbrella to be deactivated from your device or account. They have the administrative tools to remove your device from the Umbrella policy or disable your account's access. They may ask for reasons why you need it deactivated, so be prepared to explain. 2. If you personally subscribe to Cisco Umbrella, deactivation is usually handled through your Umbrella Accounts Management Portal. 2.1 Accessing Your Account First, log into your Cisco Umbrella account using your credentials. The exact URL might vary slightly depending on your specific subscription, but it typically involves going to a website like umbrella.cisco.com or a similar address. 2.2 Finding the deactivation option. Once logged in, navigate through the settings or account management sections of the portal. The exact location might differ based on the umbrella version your account uses. Look for options like cancel subscription, deactivate account, delete account, or similar wording. The phrasing might not be explicitly deactivate, but the intention is clear. 2.3, following the deactivation process. After finding the correct option, Carefully follow the steps provided by Cisco Umbrella. You might need to confirm your decision, provide a reason for cancellation, or potentially wait a certain period before your account is fully deactivated. Check your email for any confirmation messages or instructions from Cisco. Keep records of any confirmation numbers. 2.4 Understanding Cancellation Policies Be aware that there may be cancellation policies or fees involved, depending on your subscription plan. Read the terms and conditions of your service agreement before proceeding with the deactivation to understand the implications and any potential costs. 3. After deactivation for personal accounts. Once your account is deactivated, you will no longer be protected by Cisco Umbrella security features. Your internet traffic will no longer be routed through their system. You should consider alternative security solutions if you want to continue protecting your devices and network. Remember that the specific steps might vary slightly based on the version of Cisco Umbrella and your subscription type. If you encounter difficulties, referring to Cisco's official documentation or contacting their customer support is recommended. Always back up important data before making significant changes to your network security settings.